What's good fam, it's your boy Gels and I'm back with another video. In this video, we're gonna talk about Studio One. Let's go. Like I said, family, in this video, we're gonna talk about my favorite doll, the doll I mix all my songs with, Studio One, man. I absolutely love Studio One. So I know a lot of people are curious about Studio One or they just downloaded Studio One. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give you guys an overview of Studio One so you can get started recording, mixing, making beats, whatever you wanna do. I'm gonna go over a quick overview of Studio One so you can get started. Enough of me talking. Let's head over to the computer and get to work. All right, fam. So here is Studio One. This is what it looks like when you first get into, when you first start it up. So I'll go over a quick overview here, top left. You just have your file, new, open, collaboration, etc. You have your view. You have Studio One, your Studio One activation, installation, backup and restore, all that kind of stuff. Then you have your help. Studio One has some great um, help items that'll definitely help you get through it. Uh, right here, you have your audio batch converter. You have your SoundCloud client. Then you have your macro organizer. This is what your macro organizer looks like. And we'll go over here. Then we have your PreSonus account. Then we have your transfers, different downloads and stuff like that. Then we have your new open and join. This right here is your recent files. You can go here to the songs, go here to your different projects, different shows, etc. cetera. Uh, this picture here, you can change. You can add your name, genre. You can put your website as well. You can also link your SoundCloud because you can basically export straight to SoundCloud here. Uh, over here is your news feed. I currently have the news feed off, but it gives you all the imp all the information about uh, Studio One, some of the updates, some of the new releases and stuff like that. This tells you about your audio interface. Select your audio interface here. Uh, select your slam your uh, samples, your sample rate, and all that kind of stuff here. You can also go into some of your settings, your general settings. Got your appearance, keyboard shortcuts, network. You have locations. You have your audio setup, external devices. Then you have the advanced. It's good to go through all of these things because there's a lot of things you may want to turn on or off. Uh, before you get started, um, like some of the editing things, automation, audio, MIDI, console, synchronization, video, and all that kind of stuff. So it's good to learn this stuff uh, before you really dive into it or after you have uh, gave Studio One a shot. Maybe some things you want to change. This is where you would do it. You can configure your audio, audio device here. or Like I said, you could just click on it. Configure, configure external devices here. It's really, really easy to add external devices to Studio One. Uh, you just hit add, the kind of device you wanna add. They got a lot of stock uh, devices on here that you can add, which makes it really, really easy. Kinda like a plug and play type of thing, really. All right, now, so let's go into Studio One. We'll select new. So this is what you have here. You have some Studio One stock templates, which are great. Um, some good Studio One stock templates. Then you have your user templates. All the templates that you may use as a user. I have some of my templates here um, that are actually on my website, like the Waves Recording Template, Waves Mix Template, Stock Recording Template. Um, just a couple of my templates that I've changed throughout the years here. Um, this is my newest one, uh, Gels Mix Temp 924. Uh, that's the newest mix template that I use. Um, so yeah, then over here you have the name of your track, your sample rate, your resolution, 
a uh, time base, the length of the song, stretch audio files, the tempo. You have all that stuff over here that you can add. So I'll just start this track up. I'll leave it today's date, record and mix. Let's hit OK. Now that we hit OK, with the template that I chose, there's nothing here. So it's basically going to record raw vocals and mix them. So this is what... Um, this is what it looks like. So kind of a blank slate. If you're used to having uh, the faders, you just hit the mix right here. The mix will come up right there. <clears throat> Excuse me. But we'll get to that. So again, up here you have your file, everything you need to know about the track that you're currently working on, your edit screen, things about your song. This is where you would go to import files, import song data. Uh, you can export mix down and stems and stuff like that. Then you have your track. You can add tracks and all that kind of stuff. You have your event. This is about specific events throughout your song. You have your audio, transport, your view, certain things that you would like to view. This is about Studio One, kind of the same as the startup. Then your help. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry about that. All right. So, like I said, track. You can add a track here. You can put select the number of tracks if it's audio you have your instrument you want to do an automation or you want to do a folder you can do all that here um which is great you can add color if you want to do color uh for your tracks if you want to make your tracks a specific color me personally I, when i mix i make sure all of my tracks are a specific color so just to keep things organized then i'll put uh, certain sets inside of a folder so here you have your parameters over here. Like you can add a track, you can bring down different, uh, like markers. You have your ruler, marker, chords, arranger, your lyrics, video, signature, and tempo, all that over here. Then you have like, you can show your automation. This is your options of things that you want to view. So your inspector. And this is your track list. All of these are your tools that you may need while you're working on the track. Same with up here. This is about your track, your quantized time bases and bars. This is your snap, adaptive, snap to grid, all types of things where you want to, if you're sliding your tracks and stuff like that. Then what you guys all want to see, you hit browse. When you hit browse, you'll have your instruments, effects, loops, files, uh, your cloud-based stuff. You can shop, and then you can have a pool. Here's your effects. Here's all your plugins here. They're broken down by company. You got Waves, Universal Audio, all that kind of stuff here. Then you have your loops. These are the stock, um, some stock loops that came with Studio One that you could download and stuff like that. These are your files um, in case you have like external kits and stuff like that that you want to bring into, into Studio One. So like here, I have a bunch of sounds here, uh, drum kits and stuff like that that I'll use. You could reach it like that. So you have the cloud. Then like I said, you have the shop and then you have the pool. Down here at the bottom, you have your performance. This is pretty much what Studio One is doing to your computer. Um, once you start hitting over here, that means you probably start getting the clicks, the pops, your song starts slowing down. But this is your uh, CPU performance. You could click here. Once you click here, you'll get a, a performance monitor, This, which is very helpful. You have your dropout protection here. You could have uh, enable plugin nap. Basically, when the plugin is not being used, it'll take a nap. And the big thing here, you can hit show device. And when you hit show device, it'll show all the plugins and exactly how much CPU the plugin is actually using, which is very, very major, very, very crucial um, when mixing. Because you may have some plugins that are really, really, really CPU intensive that you could replace with a stock plugin or a plugin that doesn't use as much. You keep going down here. I can record for 24 days um, here. Uh, this is the bars. 
this is all your start, stop, and all that kind of stuff. And you anything down here, you can right click on in the area, and it'll give you like a customized window. I like this metro no more. You could have a customized menu so you can add things here down at the bottom, which is good. That's why I like Studio One, man. You could customize it pretty much any way you like. You have this edit here. This is how you edit individual tracks. So you'll basically click on a track and you'll be able to zoom in here. Let me, let me see. Let's create, let's go up here, track. Let's add a track. Let's add an audio track here. We have an audio track. <clears throat> we have an audio track here. So what I'll do, I'll stop that right here. So when you go to your edit screen, now you can see, you'll be able to see this track and dive really deep into it and be able to edit that track separate from everything else. So it'll basically just give you a closer view. Let's say here's your mix screen. Let's add a couple tracks just so you guys can see this. Let me add about five tracks. I'm sorry. Hold on here. Let's add tracks. Add a number of tracks. Let's add five. There we go. We got five tracks. So this is what your mix uh, window will look like. I like to get all this stuff out of the way just so I can see exactly what's on my mix window. You have everything in order here. If you need to go on this side, you have your channel list, your groups, recall options. This is your instruments. This is all your external devices. All right. So if you want if you had, let's say you had double monitors, right? All you would do was hit this detach button. It'll detach it and it sent that to my other, my other monitor. That's great, great, great about Studio One. You just hit that detach and it'll send it. Then you hit attach and it'll bring it back. All right, that's pretty much all about Studio One. Yes, sir. Studio One is fire, man. I'm telling you, man. I absolutely love Studio One, the workflow, the, the upgrades, the stock plugins. Everything is just amazing for me, and it works perfect for me. Do you use Studio One? Let's talk about it in the comments below. Are you a completely against Studio One? Let's talk about that too. Let me know why you don't like Studio One in the comments below. Do me a favor. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video. Also, check out my website, mixedbygels.com, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. I'm gone.